Here you will perfectly see the versatility of the Scrimmager man. It is a ranged marksman that can also go super deep into those team fights. We first poke the enemies low, then we jump in deep with the double team. We finish up both of these takedowns after a little bit of chasing onto that Snorlax and the two minute bell rings and we are able to channel our score. But are we gonna get it? Yes, we do get it. Are we gonna win though? Is it gonna be enough? Well, you gotta find out. Yo, you're watching Shirko, we're back with some more Pokemon Unite, and in this video we will be checking out Greninja. I'll be showing you an amazing master gameplay of mine playing the character, and also I'll be giving you lots of tips, tricks, and of course the best held items and the best moveset, so you can go ahead and try it out yourself, because of course this is one of those characters that we get for free after 14 days of logging in, which is amazing. It is, in my opinion, the coolest character in the game. It is my favorite character. So I think um, I can definitely help you guys out and show you the way of Greninja here. And as you can see, I go into that top lane. But before we get into the explanation why, before I tell you about the held items and the moveset, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, so you don't miss any further Pokemon Unite content on this channel. Now, let's get into the meat of things. Top lane. Usually, you would like to go jungle Greninja, especially on the previous patch, but after the Greninja changes, lots of nerfs but also some rebalance where I really think the shuriken and double team build is the best one now that is the best moveset in my opinion and that moveset is actually very suitable for the laning phase we go into the top lane because that maximizes the amount of experience we can get um, and you can get to level 7 as extremely fast that way. Usually, if you play well, you can get level 7 before the first Dreadnought, and that's your number one goal whenever you're playing a Greninja, because you want to get that Shuriken as fast as possible, and you get that at level 7. And after that, you're already very, very decently strong. Um, again, it used to be that Surf build used to be the best, and then you really wanted to go jungle because the more ahead you were, the more damage you would just deal with that surf, the more you could pop off during team fights with all those resets. But now I really think the shuriken is better. The double team uh, clones of yours will also shoot the shuriken. They will deal much less damage, but it still adds a lot of damage on top of that. And it confuses the enemies. So I think this build is not only the best, but also the coolest. Now let's get into those held items. As you can see, we're getting a little bit bopped in that top lane, and um, I'm not sure how this actually went. Am I gonna get level 7 before the Renault? We'll see, because we're, we are getting pressured a lot. This is, some, this is usually something that you want to avoid. Uh, oftentimes you can't. If the enemy jungler decides to gank your lane repeatedly, then it is just very unfortunate. You still just need to try to get every single drop of uh, experience that you can get and as you can see even though we got ganked even though we got pressured I still hit level 7 just before the Dreadnought spawns and here I could go bot lane now and um, help my team out with the Dreadnought now again let's get into those held items right I really think the best held items for this Greninja are body barrier super good for the unite move oftentimes you blow up if you don't have that it gives you a huge shield whenever you jump in. It also gives you that uh, huge amount of bonus health points just as a base stat starting from level 1. So that's also really good for the laning phase. Then we go for the Razor Claw. The new held item adds so much damage to Greninja's kit. And we also go for that Muscle Band, of course, since we are a very attack, uh, attack speed based marksman with this build especially. Keep in mind, each ranged basic attack will reduce the water shuriken cooldown. As you can see, our team is getting bopped a little bit. My fight there was a little bit cringe as well. We missed the shuriken completely. I didn't really accomplish too much there. I roamed the bot, but the fight was pretty much already lost. The enemies got the dreadnought, and as you can see, I instantly just go away, and I just try to farm as much as possible. I don't take my jungler's buffs, because these, these are still his. Uh, at this point of the game, but I try to get as much of the other of the remaining farm as I can Because you are the marksman guys. You need to be a little bit selfish. You need to get those levels You need to get 
that damage up. So don't be too afraid of taking a lot of farm. Again, don't steal your junglers, uh, buffs. You know, it all depends, man. Unfortunately, that fight, once again, we're completely outnumbered. The Venus soar a little bit in the wrong position, but it is okay because, again, trust me, guys, this is gonna be an absolutely insane gameplay, by the way. It was super good. It really showcases the late game strength of Greninja as well and how you can oftentimes oftentimes clinch those late game team fights guys and really come back into the game now i'm not spoiling you i'm not saying i'm gonna come back maybe i will just lose right so you gotta keep watching to find out and also to boost this video's uh, watch time so i make more money hey perfect anyway as i'm saying i already talked about all the um I already talked about all the held items pretty much. Again, Razor Claw. I used to say it's only good on Surf, uh, if you go Surf with Greninja, because uh, you use that more often than the Water Shuriken, but it is, it is just a really strong item. It is worth anyway. And here you will perfectly see one of the very important mechanics of Greninja. Uh, as you can see, I just run up to her melee range and it just deals so much damage. The melee attacks of Greninja are extremely powerful, so please don't be afraid, even with this build, where you're really focusing on the ranged uh, playstyle here with that shuriken, don't be afraid to go melee range if you are safe. Okay? In a 1v1, go melee range, man, get, those, get that damage, and especially that third basic attack, that dash, it dashes through the enemy, um, a decent distance as well, so you can make some outplays with that to dodge moves with that. And you also deal more damage based on the enemy's uh, health. So you deal a lot of damage against tanks, okay? So it's really, really good. Like early game, you will be very surprised by how much damage you can do in a lane against that Charizard, for example. And here you can see a beautiful usage of that Unite move. The Charizard ends up overdiving us completely. I have to use the Unite move to get that Body Barrier Shield. And um, we get it. We are able to burst it down as well with that Unite move damage. Again, not to be underestimated, it deals a lot of damage. So all in all, man, you can see, guys, you have a lot of outplay opportunities with this character. Also something I didn't mention yet, Double Team has an invincibility frame attached to it. So if an ability, a move, or a basic attack is flying at you, if you perfectly time the Double Team, you can see that your uh, Greninja disappears really briefly. So if you time the move or the basic attack arriving at where you would be while you are disappearing with that move, and it's only a split second, then you can completely nullify CC, damage, everything of that ability flying at you. You can nullify complete uh, Unite moves. You can... it's crazy, okay? You can dodge a lot of stuff with this. So, infinite skill cap character. That's why I love it as well. Just super fun. And here we start popping off, guys, okay? Here you will really see just how much damage we can dish out with this Greninja. Two minutes uh, remaining, pretty much. And as you can see here, we're in the melee. Uh, we, we did some melee basic attacks there onto that um, Snorlax, and it just does so much damage. I instantly just follow up with the eject, and we start channeling that score. We have 50 points. Less than two minutes remaining, so we get 100 points out of that. So that's already beautiful. Um, by the way, we're not running score shield because I feel like if you go jungle, you need the score shield. You will have a lot of Pokeballs. You will have a lot of opportunities to score during those ganks. But if you're playing in the lane, I don't think it's needed. Our Unite move unfortunately missed because um, one of our, I think the Talonflame kicked them away, but it's fine because I get the Zapdos with the basic attack, man. And here I should just go to score i actually do here i'm trying to make my pikachu score the bottom because wh wh why would you know i'm faster i have the double team i'm also ahead of him he should have uh, he's just confused unfortunately you know what should have happened is we let this pikachu score bottom i go to the next point and everything is fine and dandy but as you can see man we're able to really really carry a very good team fight there with just good positioning dealing a lot of damage and then we pop off at the Zapdos fight, and that's all you need oftentimes. And here, once again, you just saw on your screen just how much damage these melee basic attacks do. And that's what is also really important to use on this Greninja, guys. So, 
um, the main things you should take away from this little guide here. Get level 7 as fast as possible, okay? Don't steal your jungler's farm, but get it as fast as possible. Take the middle... Try to fight for the middle lobsters, okay? In the middle. Um, then get that... Um, get those basic attacks in the melee range off if you can. If you are safe, like I was against that Blissey, it, was, it is just absolutely crazy damage. And then other than that, just get good at using your Unite move at good times. Don't go too deep. You can't just go full range, uh, full melee mode with this build, uh, with the Unite move, you know. You just can't jump into five people. But if you see two squishies, man, if you hit both of them, the team fight is over, I guarantee it. And as you can see, this wasn't too much of an eventful game. I didn't get fed early game. I didn't really do anything special. I was just farming well, and I was able to completely dominate the last two team fights and that's all you need man and that's the strength of these marksmen like cinderace like that greninja as you can see 100,000 damage beautifully done and yeah hey let me know if this helped you guys i know again a lot of you just got this for free if you started with the mobile release and it is my favorite character i hope it's going to be your favorite character even though it is nerfed it is still a strong a tier in my opinion uh, especially in solo queue, you can still do a lot of work, just like I did this game without doing anything too special. And um, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy playing Greninja Man again. Such a fun character. Definitely make sure to try it out. Also, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!